in the mountains. We're here. <laughs> Morning in the mountains. That's right. Entertainment in the Smokies with myself, Jim Johnson, and the incredible James Gilly. What's up, guys? How's everyone doing out there today? I hope everyone out there is having a fun, safe day. It's a beautiful day. It is. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful day. It is gorgeous. It's, the weather feels great, and the colors are oh. changing like crazy. Oh, I hope so. it's making you all happy out there because it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, what a great week. Yes. A lot of great things coming up. And I got a big shout out. Check out my shirt. This beautiful shirt. <laughs> Mark Nelson Denim. Thank you, my <laughs> friend. He makes such beautiful clothes. Helps people look really good. We're going to get you a shirt, man. Get me a James shirt. needs a shirt. Mark. Get me a shirt, Mark. You need a shirt. Bad. Anyway, this is a great week last week, too. We had a great time. Great concerts. Over the weekend from our yeah. guests last week. A lot of, Phenomenal. Lot of things going. Yeah. A lot of places are opening up finally. So that's great. What's going on up here in the Pigeon Forge? Well, I tell area? you, th there's so much going on up here in the Pigeon Forge area. Of course, Dollywood still got everything going on over there with their fall festival. If you haven't been to see the great pumpkin luminites, you need to go because it's a lot of fun. Um, Oktoberfest, beer, music, fun. Good time. You know a lot of things that are going on with the concerts in the area. A lot of people mm -hmm. coming up here with music. Oh, yeah. And then we have the Ripley's Fright Night coming up. It's, well, it's actually already started. It'll be going on through the 31st of the month. So you want to go by and check that out. But one, one place that we want to go see is Rocky Top Mountain Coasters, Coasts, and Goblins. That'll be fun. I guess they're going to have spooky lights and when you're flying down. Jumps out at you. Zombies. Ooh! Zombies, you know, getting some zombie action. And then that brings us to, there's all kinds of things going on. You can check that out at mountainfunlife.com. Go to the event side. Check out all the things that are going on. Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, all over the mountains. We've got our brand new websites up and rolling. You can it's shop on You can do all kinds of super cool. There are coupons and get tickets. And Y'all did a great job. Bob Denny. Good job, man. Seriously. Good job. It's a great website. I thoroughly enjoy it. It is beautiful. It's kind of cool seeing my face on there. Like, That's kind of funny. Look at that. It? That's my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it is fun, isn't it? It's yeah. kind of cool. You pop it's something different. Up, Ooh, there you there are, right there. there. Yeah, I saw myself on Roku the other day too. I was like, yeah. "That's a little weird, isn't it?" You're yeah. at home. You're at home. Click on the channels. Yeah. There's our face. I went back and watched the very first one I was on. I was so nervous, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you did so great. good. You've been here now for over a year, and uh, you've Has done such a wonderful year? job. It's well, it's, I think I think I think it's been I think it's, it's, it's been a little over a year. Pretty sure. Here we are in October. Time flies. Time flies. And I'm pretty sure you started before. Well, we'll have to go back and find out. Oh, Why don't yeah. you all tell us? Yeah. Where's Mama, Mama Gilly? You know when we were on. I don't know. She's not on here Come yet. Come on, Mama Gilly. Where are you at? We right. need you. Call her out. Call her out. Mama um, Gilly. Let me go over the things going on up here that I got growing. The things that you are in charge yeah, of because you are the one. He He's the guy who brings music to the Smoky Mountain. I help brings. He Well, I he help. brings a lot of them. And he brings a lot of great people because we've got a lot of great guests on the show today. Most definitely. So All tell right. us. So we'll run through this. So at the gym bar tonight or tomorrow night, Thursday, you have D-Rocks. She's actually in the studio today. We'll be interviewing her in just a few minutes. That's for Jeep night uh, from 9 to 1. Um, on Saturday at the gym bar, you have Southern Sunday Drought with Clint Keaton. Uh, that's, on, that's October 24th, uh, 9 to 1. Gatlinburg Brewing Company in Gatlinburg. Uh, Friday night you have Roy Saunders. He's also in the studio as well. We have some really exciting news about him coming out today. Uh, that's from 7 to 10. On Saturday you have Rastafari, which is a one-man solo band, uh, looping, reggae, all kinds of cool things he's going on. Cool dude, man. Yeah, he's. I mean, he is. He's a cool cat. He's that button. Yeah, just he like He sings that. all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and he sings and mixes it and loops it. It's really cool. That's October 24th, 7 to 10. Um, Let's see here. If you go to Knoxville, um, Justin Michaels is playing October 24th, which is Saturday for 7 to 10 at Union Place Bar and Grill. At Schultz Brow Brewing Company, you have Drop Dead Dangerous. If you haven't checked those women out, you definitely got to go see them. They're, uh, they travel all over, tour all over, like island music. Fantastic. Where are they at? Where are they going to be at? Schultz Brow. Schultz Brow. October that's 23rd, 8 to 11. That's a cool place. They're going to be inside, outside? Uh, they will be outside if it's nice yeah, weather. It's cool it should stuff. be. It's a great stage, too. Uh, two doors down in Maryville, you have Rick Stone, uh, October 23rd, which Boy, is... Yeah. Rick gets around. All the time. All Rick the time. Stone, he's all over the world. 9.30 to 1.30. Um, and then at Poor Tap Room on October 24th, you have lovely Roy Saunders again. So Roy they, Saunders. He's my prison mate. Oh, yeah. Something like that. That was a blast. So we'll go back. 
We should bring on some. We'll bring on the first person. Should we bring him <laughs> on? Just cracks me up when I start talking about that. Our prison, our time in prison with Roy Saunders. Right. It was a, you're gonna find out about that. Yeah, later. you guys will all find yeah. out for sure. So let's talk nice. about our let's, next guest. Let's do it. Let's uh, let's run a video of her real quick so that. people can see, see what she video. does. She's super cool. Let's you bring guys her on the her. show. You're gonna love her. Yeah, she's she is at the gym bar on Thursday for Jeep Night. Um, she's plays all over the country too. So from Illinois, right down Illinois, the town, good from old where I grew up. You know, years and years and years ago, we're not going to talk about how many years ago. Hannah, will you run that video?
<laughs> we're jamming out, aren't we? Oh, I'm, uh, it's, we're back! Man, that was a cool song, man. Yeah, she's really good. Actually, she's talented. Let's, let's bring her on. How you doing? Good. How are you guys? Oh, we're hanging in there, having fun, having a blast, obviously. Doing air guitar, shredding air guitar over Right? There. Yeah. I had air drums going on. Right. There you go. I got the whole band now. <laughs> so, Don't you, put guys me on real drums. you guys were talking, I'm sorry I cut you guys off earlier. You said you guys are from the same area, right? Yeah, real close. I mean, uh, she says she's up by Joliet, and uh, you know, I grew up in a little town called Sterling, Illinois, in Rock Falls. Shout out to all my buddies and brothers out there <laughs> in Sterling, Rock Falls. Love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. It's just super cool to have somebody on the show that's from my my chilla noise. That's right. It <laughs> chilla noise. Yeah, it's cold up there now. I can tell you that. Uh huh. How cold is it up there right now? I don't know. I can tell you in a minute because I keep my uh, my thermostat right here that tells my me thermostat. what what my uh, what what it's like up there. Let's see. I don't so know. So you're a snowboarder though. You tr you play up there and then you go down south. Yep. Is go that, down to Florida. Down Every Florida. now and then, stay right here in Tennessee for a minute or two and do a show and nice. and then go down to Florida. Nice. For How long have you been doing that? This will be my fifth winter going down. Nice. And my longest going down. So I'll be down there seven months this year. Where do you stay in Florida? Fort Myers Beach. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, Fort my, Myers. Aunt, my aunt is on here, and she's from Fort, Fort Myers. She's Tell her to come see me. Yeah, we'll do. There's a tiki hut down there that's on the, uh, right before you go into uh, Cape Coral, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Uh, in Fort Myers, and there's like a little tiki hut. Big Tiki Hut. I forgot what it's called. If my aunt's on there. It's probably the Tiki Hut. Tell us what that place be. is called, but you should play there. There's like a the lighthouse tiki that's down there on Fort Myers Beach. The, the lighthouse stage, tiki. The stage is up on top above the bar. Okay. It like, has like fish tanks all the way around. Have you I been there? I should play there. You should James. totally play <laughs> there. That sounds like, what is it? Let, Bahama, me, let, me ask Bahama, my, let me ask my aunt where that Bahama place Breeze is. or something like that? That song that you just actually showcased, um, Two Wheels to the Water. Yeah. Uh, my buddy and I, Joe Santini. And I wrote that song for a tiki bar that's back home on the Illinois River called Boondocks Tiki Bar. Boondocks. And it's just a great motorcycle destination on Saturdays and Sundays, you know. So that's where that song came from. Yeah. Take two wheels to the water. That's super cool. Sanibel. Sanibel. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's, she's right know. She's right at the, uh, the uh, bridge that goes over. The causeway. Sanibel. The causeway, yeah. I'm, she, I'm a, she's letting me know what the bar name is. All right. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Hey, got to give a shout out to all our viewers that yeah. are tuning in. We got Mary's out there. That's your aunt, right? Yeah, Mary, Mary. the mini bait shack. Yep, the yep. mini bait shack. Yeah, that's yep. the, that's the one that's I was at. talking about. Anyway, sorry. Oh, much fun. My mind just hurt. <laughs> cool. <laughs> right. I just want to say hello to people out there watching the show today. Thank you very much. Appreciate right. you. Love you, man. Love you, Ricky Pizzullo, my brother from another world out there. <laughs> some more. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so, he's, he's my backup. He's your backup. So I got to say, hey, you hey. had Ricky on here not too long oh, ago. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Him and his brother up here. Sorry, yeah. just had to bring the Chicago shout out accents to the out in you, right, Jim? Oh, yeah. A little bit. That I year, had a major career, too. It's crazy. Um, so you go, where old do you play down in Florida? Do you just travel all over down there? Hit, like, a bunch of places constantly? Yeah, ragged ass. Um, I started out playing in Homosassa Springs in Crystal River. It's a little too cold up there for me. So we moved it on down to Fort Myers and just kind of homestead right there. And then do, you know, a lot of shows right there, Mangoritas and the Lani Kai and the Lighthouse Tiki. Um, and then uh, I'll go over like once or twice a month to Ragged Ass on Pine Island and play over there. This year I'm hoping by getting down there early enough, I'll network through some other places and, and get on board with some other places as well. But Times Square and Mangoritas is really my little honey spot down there. Cool. Um, beautiful sunsets. It's right there at the beach. Um, can't get better than that. No, yeah. you can't get no better yeah. than that. Get around there Daytona Bike Week. It's on the other side of yeah, the state, no, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's in a good March, time yeah. over there. I've been up through through Bike Week quite a few times, man. It's beautiful over there. Yep. Um, so what kind of music do you like to play? What what do you you know, you cover a lot and you have your originals. What what do you what do you call yourself? What what do you class do you classify yourself as mainly? Oh gosh, I keep getting this question asked to me. Um Man, I'm a little country and I'm a little rocker. So you give me Merle Haggard, or you give me Led Zeppelin, or you know <laughs> Merle Haggard and Led That's Zeppelin. Just kind of all <laughs> over the those board. those two together. <laughs> Seriously, all over the board. My my set lists are just kind of. Um, I really like to play to the crowd, 
So you ever go to a show and the band's got their set list and they do it. And then that's a great thing for bands that have set lists and, and stay, you know, right on track. But after about two, three hours, you know, I, I want to play what the people want to hear. And it's just sometimes all over the board. It might go Elton John. It might go ACDC. Most of the time it goes ACDC. I figure as much. Yeah, um, yeah right. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I'm just, I love my 80s ballads. I love, love, love my country. And, um... Favorite 80s ballad. Music, we got to know. know. Favorite 80s ballad. Yeah, what is it? so I'm just What is your favorite 80s ballad? Probably some Bon Jovi, bon you know, Jovi. some Def Leppard. Def Leppard. Yeah. Saw them in concert last year. Did you? Super Def cool Leppard? Super cool light show, yeah. Super cool light show. You guys is that the amazing. one in town? That was in town? Yeah, yeah. Times from Bowling Arena. Yeah. I've never okay. seen so many lasers in all my life. I mean, there were <laughs> lasers everywhere. It was crazy. <laughs> got to bring out the lasers. Do you have lasers? We gotta get you lasers. We need to get her lasers. She Jim needs some lasers. Jim, where's the lasers at? Jim lasers. Lasers, Jim. <laughs> lasers, Jim. I brought a light bar with me, so at least I have some lights, but right. Jim Bar has, uh, they, they got have... lights in the whole setup, don't they? Yeah, it's a really nice stage, actually. It is. I, I really enjoy working over there with those people as well. And it is the last Jeep night, so it's gonna be absolutely packed. Um, Jeep the, night? The Jeep, like, it draws a lot of people. That bar alone has a very good in Kraus. Yeah. In, in-house crowd, you know, all the time. Um, it's it's just packed. Constantly. You're gonna have a great time, Jim Bar. And you're right up its alley of, yeah. of clientele. You know, it's it's cool. you, you'll definitely fit cool in people. well. I'm sure they'll be wanting you get wanting you back. Um, I'm so. super excited about it. So yeah, when was the last time you played in Tennessee? Uh, three years ago, we we played at Pigeon Forge. My guitar player that you've seen on there, he's gone now. Oh. Um, R.I.P. Rodney. But uh, we played at the Hard Rock Cafe. Oh, cool. cool. And it was a rainy night. It was supposed to be bike night that night, and it wound up being like a rainy night. And 57 seventh graders came in, 52, 55, something like that. Seventh graders came in on like three buses. So that's when the Bruno Mars came out. And again, they wanted ACDC. These kids are like 13 years old. They want ACDC. They want to rock, man. So I, I literally entertained for like two and a half hours a whole, um, you know, restaurant area full of seventh, <laughs> seventh graders. Seventh graders. Yeah. That's awesome. That seems like a set in a movie. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Rocking out on the stage at Hard Rock and all of a sudden seventh graders rolling. What was yeah. that Jack Black movie that he had the, where the kids were rocking out? Uh, it's a long rock. way to Schoolhouse the Rock, wasn't it? School, School of Rock. School, School of rock. rock. School of Rock. Yeah. Well, I remember yeah. Rock and Roll High School. Do you remember rock, rock and Roll High School, the Ramones? The movie yeah. from the 80s? Yeah. That was great. I don't remember. I you wasn't don't around. Remember. I was you, around. You're young and You need James. to see it, man. Rock and Roll High School. Have you all seen Rock and Roll High School, man? Remember the Ramones of Rock and Roll High School? That was just a good time, man. It's yeah. like Fast Times at Ridgemont High. You know right? that movie? Do you know that movie? <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, my God. She doesn't know Fast Times at Ridgemont High. What in the world is wrong with this uh, world? What the world? I got to <laughs> watch them. Two classics. I bet other people don't, haven't seen it in this I room. Know it, man. Well, there's probably Hannah, movies you that you've seen, seen that I haven't seen. <laughs> Hannah's Roy, right. have you ever seen it? <laughs> He's seen it. Uh, well, of course, of course. <sighs> you know. But you did see Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You didn't see that movie. That's great. That's we, a great movie. We had some artists in here that were just like, compl- every movie that we spit at them, they were just like, never seen it. David. Never seen it. Never I, seen it. Uh, hate it. He, he hadn't seen yeah. it. David didn't see it. And yeah. then, I, then I pulled it up, showed him, and he's like, Dude, that's me. <laughs> He's, he is the epitome of Bill S. Preston, man. And he, I was like, you mean you can't tell me you haven't seen this movie? That was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. He was like, no, I haven't seen it. And I was like, wait till you see this clip, man. <laughs> I'm sorry to go off on a tangent, but those old movies, man, I mean, they're just good stuff. Classics. Good we'll have stuff. to get a list from you and, and go and watch them on Netflix tonight. And we're, the, we're, the, <laughs> we, you know, we're in the same era of age, you know. I mean, well, you're, I don't know. you're still a little younger than I am, so... <laughs> You know, she's a, she's a baby. Right. Um, we tell us about... Oh, the the <laughs> heater went off. We went, what was that? Tell us about your, like, you know, like how you became in getting into music. What what led you to play music? And then what is your driver that continues to keep it's you... It's all my brother's fault. All your brother's Dusty, fault. Dusty, are you listening? <laughs> Call him out. Call him out. I, uh, I lived down south. Like I was telling Roy, you know, I lived down south for like 15 years, and I, I grew up playing music, piano and saxophone, and I always loved singing. Nice. And um, so then I moved back home 2007, 
And my brother's like, you got the hair, you got the voice, you know? Why ain't you playing music? I'm like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I like doing karaoke and stuff, you know, and playing other people's drums. And so a couple years went by, and then I, was, I, I won a contest for Brett Michaels. He put a contest on, um, I think it was 2011, 2012, and he put a contest on in our area, five bars north of 80 and five bars south of 80. So 10 bars were involved in this karaoke contest that Brett Michaels had put on for um, children's diabetes or something like that. All proceeds went to that. And so I won. And so I got to sing on stage with Brett Michaels' band, and that was pretty cool. And then I got the bug. Then I got the bug. I'm like, well, this is kind of pretty cool, you know? And so then I went and bought a PA and uh, Gusto's, A.B. Gusto's in Crest Hill. He's like, well, come on, you know, Brian's like, come on out, you know, you can play here. I had about maybe 20 songs I learned, all Merle Haggard and some Hank Jr. and, you know, some Janis Joplin. And that was all I really knew how to play on the guitar. I just taught myself guitar. Well, then it kind of went from there. And then our first show with me and my brother as an acoustic duo um, it was January 13, 2013. And so for the next seven years, I've been playing music, and then it evolved into a full band. So we do the full band. I do a lot of solo shows, a lot of duos, and I do a lot of full band back home for the summer, the spring and summer season. So that's how that got started, yeah. How cool. Cool. What yeah. Guys, I love stories, man. Music yeah, you gotta stories, ask dude. It's like I even got Brett Michaels in my one song, Heart of a Country Girl. So oh, nice. that's super cool. Brett Brett, he does he does quite a few shows up here. In well, I'd Oxford. love to meet him again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cotton Eye Joe. Cotton Eye Joe. Yep. In Knoxville, Tennessee. He's there all the time. Right. If you've never been to Cotton Eye Joe, you gotta check it out. If you're in town, you gotta go. Cotton Eye Joe, we gotta go to Cotton, Cotton Eye, Eye Joe. Joe. It's a Big number old place number yeah, one number country one country bar in America today number okay. one country it's ginormous it's super cool it's and, huge uh, you know it is under new ownership Chuck Ward you know who you are you've done a great job with Cotton Eye Joe buddy so then getting to where I'm traveling now uh, Jim Kester who's sitting right here in the studio with us Starbound Entertainment mm -hmm. he started making some calls about four years ago he's like hey you want to travel and I'm like yeah I'm ready to get out of the winter you know in, in Illinois so he started just booking me um, here in Tennessee and, and down in Florida. And so that's been going on. So in fact, Jim's the reason I'm here today. So yeah. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, thank yeah, you, Jim. She's sure. awesome, bro. Yeah, she's Starbound good. Entertainment, he's been, he's been doing this for years and years and then took a break for a lot of years and then he's back into it mm -hmm. um, due to Rodney. That was my guitar player and they've known each other for 50 something years. I don't know. <laughs> right, long time. Yeah, so that's how I got to be coming down south and stuff and then I just kind of let it roll from there and yeah Jim's helped me a lot in a lot of different places too um, I met Jim a couple of years ago and we've been booking bands together and and so forth for a while now so super been cool. cool yeah yeah I'm not sure how we discovered each other but we did <laughs> you know it, was, it works he's so. a button pusher he likes to make them calls and that's what it takes you know to get yeah. to get people out there it's just call after call after call and yeah, yeah. so I for appreciate sure. you a lot. Appreciate I'd have never played at Hard Rock Cafe, even if it was a duo. The manager came up and bought me and my guitar player. They're like, you're the best band we've ever had. And I'm like, we're a two-piece. We're like a two-piece. They're like, you guys were just great. Is that oh, where you played to the seventh graders? Yep. That's that's just, what a story. <laughs> yeah. right. I love that. I love so that. that means all you people out there need to go and see her at the gym bar tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at the gym. That is going to be one wild so, crowd. You're going to okay. fire them up. I, I can't wait. I don't know the address right off the top of my head. So yeah, thirteen forty one. Uh, Parkway. Dollywood. Dollywood. Parkway. Dollywood Parkway. Dollywood Parkway. And she sings Dolly yeah. Parton too. She said. Yeah, she does. On Dollywood Parkway, she sings Dolly Parton. <laughs> Actually, we get, we got one more song of her that I want to play. This is one of her music videos that's done really well. Um, and we want to say thank you for coming on the show and yeah. uh, looking forward to hearing more of you and staying in touch with you and thank you and seeing where we can all go together before yeah. we let her go how do people find you on Facebook that's true D rocks acoustics again with the X's D rocks acoustics on Facebook um, there's videos on YouTube all the originals are on SoundCloud reverb nation um, iTunes um, and you can just find me on Facebook that way D rocks acoustics and can you spell it for everyone what's that D rocks D dash ROX which by the way stands for Desiree Roxanne 
Acoustics, A-C-O-U-S-T-I-X. Fantastic. Super cool, super cool. Sweet. Hey, now run that video.
like to take a moment to salute our servicemen and women all around the world. Army, Air Force, Coast Guard, Marines, Navy, all first responders. Thank you for having your boots on the ground. Stripes so proud, cause there's boots on the ground. Man, I love military stuff. I thought you'd like it. That's why <laughs> I put it in there. <clears throat> right there, baby. Right. You and your um, your stash. Oh, I know. You don't have to show that picture. You can go to my Facebook page and check it out. Jim Johnson holding two M60s because I was a 60 gunner in Desert Storm, baby. All for you. Yeah, that's right. Thanks for serving. We appreciate it. I really didn't have a choice. They said get on the plane. Oh. Well, <laughs> that's kind of the way it goes. Is it okay? Well, I was 22 years old when I went to Desert Storm. But that was kind of scary. You can calculate. Yeah, it was. I mean, what? I mean, it was like it was something. Yeah, for yeah sure. it was scary, especially getting shot at. I didn't like that too much. There's nothing like having a 50 cal round fly by your feet. Yeah, I don't think that would be very fun. Not fine. so nice. Not no. so nice. No. Thank you, Lord, for hearing my prayers. I appreciate it. Right. Well, we got Mr. Roy Saunders on man, here, I'm man. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Roy is in the house. Yeah, I actually got two videos of Roy. One is his full band from a live session that we have, and then uh, I have a music video later. And I just wanted you to bring us up to pace with everything that you're do you've been doing, man. What's been going on, Mr. Roy? Not much. What's up, guys? Thanks for having me back. Yeah, no problem. Um, we got the music video coming out today. Yeah. Super excited about that. It, Both the, you guys were in it. The video will drop the at 12. We're going to pr premiere it on here today uh, for the for Mount Fun Life. How super cool is that? Because you're in it, man. And, and you're way, in it. By the way, you look way too clean cut to be a prison. I have my white shirt on. You know? I'm a Dickies <laughs> on. I was wearing wearing the blue Dickies with my shirt and black pant, black boots. Yeah, yeah. I got the call. Said this is what you got to wear. That's what I wore. Most definitely. But they yeah. weren't new. They they probably I should have threw them in the mud or something. I was, I was gonna say you look really crisp in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a great video, man. I thoroughly enjoyed filming that thing and uh, being part of it. It was, yeah. it was a good time. I can't believe we pulled it off. You know, it was so freaking early, man. We had to get there so early. So Found a raccoon in the trash can. Oh, we did find a raccoon in the, in the trash can. That is true. <laughs> we found the raccoon in the More trash can. More stories. Is there a song coming out about the raccoon in the trash can? We got to we gotta make a, a song about a raccoon. It's been a reoccurring thing in my life for like the past year is... <laughs> Raccoons popping up all over the place. It's so. probably going to be your number one hit. I'm just <laughs> saying. So you've been told by the world that you need to write this song. About. It is. I mean, Rocky Raccoon is one of my one of my favorite songs by the Beatles. So, you know, there you go. Just roll on over with it, and Rocky Raccoon Part Two or something like that. Right. Um, but I, Jim, I got to thank you for the last time that I was on here. You put it in a uh, in my head, and uh, Rick Davis, who lives down in Chattanooga. Uh, got in touch you were talking about my beard and saying that I yeah. need to contact Duck Dynasty and see about using their beard oil yeah well I got sponsored by uh, Chattanooga Beard Company yeah um, yes they're they're based out of Chattanooga I met with Matt over there and uh, he's got some awesome product makes it all in-house a um, bunch of different scents uh, the one I got is holy cow it's holy cow pretty, yeah it's pretty amazing what's their website um, it's Chattanooga Beard Company dot com there you go, folks. If you were a beard kind of person or have a man in your life that's got a beard. Yep. Yeah, they, uh, he has a beard. Look he at does. He, <laughs> he has one of the coolest beards, man. I mean, look at Roy's beard. It's How long beautiful. you been growing that thing? It's beautiful. What do you call that it's, thing? I don't know. I need to make a name for it, right? <laughs> um, it's been a, been a few years since, uh, well, when I, I used to work in the restaurant industry, and I used to have to have a real clean cut beard, and then once I left the restaurant industry is when started growing it so it's been about two years wow started i couldn't getting, imagine you without a beard started growing it and playing music <laughs> full-time so if you ever see me without it i guess that means i stopped playing music i don't 
I guess uh, so. I just gotta like keep going ZZ Top style. Or lost a bet. Nah, I don't. Don't think, ever bet the beard. I don't think I'd bet it. I don't I'd ever probably, bet the beard. I'd probably bet my car before the beard. You know. Yeah. Don't bet the beard. Stay away from poker. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from poker. Who else you want to say thank you to? Um, well, I want to thank everybody that's in the video. Um, so both you and Jim, um, Chevy Watson, uh, McCoy Brog, Borg, uh, Borg uh, both the guys from Monroeville, um, Kevin Moore, Chris Smith, my dad and my brother are both in it. Um, Jen for getting all kinds of props. My girlfriend Jen, she got props and all kinds of stuff that I never would have thought of. Yeah, you know, for us. the for the uh, she brought the for shakes. the video. She brought um, the shakes. <laughs> both uh, Josh and Nate over at Promotion, they were awesome. They both really locked it in on getting the same vision as I had with uh, with the video. Um, Justin Michaels, and uh, he brought along his friend Tim Snap. Uh, you know, we I think we started the video out with like three extras, and yeah. then we left the show, and you made a few calls, and. You know, then we had enough people to do a prison riot. So yeah, it was solid. That was my favorite part, prison riot. It's all in. We uh, <laughs> I've always wanted to be in a prison riot. It was. We great. actually got we got the we I called um, what's the prison name? Brushy Mountain. Brushy Mountain. Yeah, I called Brushy, Brushy Mountain's Mountain. owner, and I was like, "Hey, what do you think about the street music video there?" And he's like, "I love the idea." He's like, "No one's ever done it before." So we were the first ones to actually shoot Dude. a music video in the prison itself. And by the way, that prison is terrifying. It's so scary. You walk in the door and you just can feel hatred. And oh, you feel pain something. And just like agony and just like disparity. You're just like, oh my gosh, I would hate to be here. And what's yeah. really crazy is the people that maintain the prison are actually the old prison inmates <laughs> that have actually, yeah. you know, are now to out in the public and now they're coming back to take care of the property and they've turned it into a concert venue of course they have a huge stage there Merle FM runs that place down there and a couple other people and that's super cool man they yeah. do have a real huge stage out there it's for massive music events. yeah I tell you what though man being stuck in that prison would be awful especially trying to escape from the prison like James Earl did yeah and, and getting over those walls and climbing up those mountains on both sides and then you're just lost in eternity once you get on the other side i mean oh, like man. it's not a yeah. good situation yeah. you know at all it's it's a very creepy terrifying spot it is i wonder if sure. do they do a haunted something there yeah they do like haunted tours which you know are absolutely awful and we had the master key to like all the doors and it was creepy super creepy it was super, super creepy, creepy man like they were saying you know it's pretty haunted still and uh, there's definitely some spirits going on there that I don't want to be a part of. No, they had old old Sparky was there, the old electric chair. Yeah, old was Sparky there. was there, which is sketchy as in itself. Yeah, you know, no, the whole place the was place sketchy. Right there where it was, you know. It's yeah, you're locked in locked in between mountains. Yeah, you know? I don't like it. You know, one thing a lot of people don't know is that if you fly over Brushy Mountain and look down on it, it is in the shape of a cross. Huh. You know what's crazy is I have drone footage of. I couldn't fly over it, but I could fly around it. And uh, check it out. And yeah, if you can see the out. top of it, you'll notice that it's. it's oh yeah, actually, yeah. I do know exactly what you're talking yeah. about now. Yeah, yeah that's sketchy. <laughs> Why would you make a prison yeah. across? But I, I did a shoot out there years ago, and we we're thinking about turning it into some kind of production house. And, uh, it's just too far out there. Yeah, it's yeah. terrifying too. I don't yeah. know if you wanted to be a production house in a little prison. I don't know, man. It was cool. <laughs> it's it kind of cool. creepy. It's cool. um, Actually, so I would, Hannah, I would like for us to play first his his video of with his band, the one, the live session from the studio, if we could. Sweet. It's a really great song. Um, his band is going to be coming out here in, in the next couple months, so I wanted to show that before we actually show the music video. I know we've got to build up anticipation, because yeah, you yeah. out there, people. And the music our, video is stellar. Our fans, so. Roy's fans, everybody that loves this show and anybody that's ever been on it, you're watching it, share it. Help oh, yeah. Roy get his songs out there because this is the time. Most you definitely. know, everybody's watching. Go look at Roy Music or Roy Roy Saunders. Roy music. Saunders Music on Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. And on click everything. that like button. Share, share, share. Help get the word out. Yeah, run that video, yeah. Miss Hannah. This is one of my songs called Walls. Laying down your walls and let me in Well, open up to me, let me be your friend Why is it so hard 
When just to understand well, All I'm trying to do Is be your man well, Oh darling Just want to hold you tight Until the morning comes Until the, the sunrise Baby well, Hold my Kiss me in the sand Open up to me Let down your walls and let me in Let me be your man Why is it so hard Just to understand All I'm trying to do Is be your man Cold outside, well, everything will be alright as long as you're next to me. Well, do you feel the warmth as we lay under the covers? Do you feel the shudder of love as we hold on tight? Well, everything is gonna be. Cold outside when I'm feeling blue. Well, darling, I know I'm in love with you. Well, this is how it should be. No walls between us two. You let your walls down. You let me in. My life's complete now. That I'm yours. Sweet Savannah. That's a good song, bro. Thank you. Yeah, he's constantly playing, constantly, you know. World Traveler. Yeah, we saw Traveler, for sure, yeah. I mean, he plays more shows than anyone I know, I think, besides Rick Stone. Him and Rick Stone play pff, so many gigs. Tearing up the world, man, tearing constantly, up the world. Constantly, constantly, you know. But when you're good, people like listening to you, and they're going to book you, Roy. That's what they do. Yeah. That's all. Trying to book as many as possible. You know, last year we hit 150 shows, um, and then this year it, it was on track to, to hit about 200, 225, and then all the shutdowns happened. Um, but we've still managed to get, I think I counted the other day, and it was 157. Ooh. So that's, I'm happy with that, with how much, yeah. you know, how many shows canceled and, and being yeah. out of work for, you know, a month or two. Wow, that's awesome. A lot of gigs, man. A lot of gigs. Picking them back now, up. You have a new EP coming out, right? I do. January. January. So I did uh, I did decide to push back the date a couple weeks um, as far as the release online and stuff like that. Um, so it's going to be January 13th. Um, that date was actually, if you've, you've been to some of my shows, and I always do a dedication to my aunt who passed away. Um, and I always play the same song for her. Well, that's her birthday. So we were going to release it January 1st, but I figured, you know, what's two weeks and we'll yeah. release it on her birthday. Nice. Um, but we will do a pre um, party, a pre release. So we're going to do a weekend out of it um, in the Atlanta area and do two shows. And we'll have actual physical hard copies at those shows. Um, cool. But as far as downloads and things like that, it won't be until the 13th. Fantastic, man. It's going to be good. Good songs, man. He writes some great music. So he does. Storytellers, enjoy, man. Enjoy listening to him. Yeah. Love the storytellers. I think it's time. Is it time? No. I think it's time. Is it time? Do are I we, hear are it you time? ready to debut this thing? Let's do it. Let's do it. So this this song is called Stranger. It is uh, is his first single that he added out, and we put together a music video for him, and I'm pretty excited. I'm excited. Yeah, and Jin's <laughs> over here bouncing up and down. 
So uh, I don't you see if you can spot uh, James and I in this video. Also, uh, <laughs> this video will release to YouTube and Facebook and all the goodies at 12 o'clock today. Uh, you'll be able to find it on Roy Saunders Music on his YouTube and on his Facebook page. It'll also be on the promotion account. Uh, it will be then put onto your website as well, and it will be on our website and everything else. We're really going to showcase this video because it's so it's unique. It's something we've never really. It's a really cool story. It's, it's, a, it's like a little movie. It is know? a movie, dude. It is a hundred percent a movie. That's like that's what we were talking about yesterday. Like this was like the first time we really captured a great storyline behind. Um, not the first time, but it was a, this is a, like a very solid storyline for a music video. So we were super thrilled to be working with it, working with you on it. Yeah, it's so. It's a, a dark video. <laughs> it is a dark video for sure. Go ahead, and run that thing, Hannah. Here we go.
Oh, hands red at Hakat. I honestly picked the wrong video. My bad. But the one coming out at 12 has all the other special effects in it. I'm sorry. Nate, you said it was, ugh. Oh, well. All right, Nate, you're in trouble when he gets back to the <laughs> office. You oh, had it, good. mister. But the one coming out at 12 does have some really cool things that are not in this video that are in that video. You guys should definitely watch it again. Oh, they're going to um, watch it again because that was super cool. Oh, I feel like. I saw you in there. I feel like an idiot right now. Yeah. It's, it. it's, well, you know, it's live TV too, folks. All kinds of things happen on live TV. You just can't change right. it. I <laughs> must say, though, there's a lot of great parts in there with you and your family. It was really cool filming a, a video and a storyline that has your family in it. And then it was also, um, you know, your clean cut Jim Johnson over here. Oh, that's hilarious. Elbowing people. Getting people on I look so elbow. bad in that. Like I threw cards at you. And right. Looked, like I looked like I could do anything. I don't know. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it was a blast. I still love the song. The, the song, song the writing of the song is like, in the story. I thought it was great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was still a great song, man. I think it's a great video, too, and it should push it really. I think this video is going to do really well. Oh, yeah. Shot. I'm, I'm like excited about it, especially the, with the, the shots with, you know, uh, when we're running across the grass, there's, there's bullets flying at our feet. Yeah, at there's our feet bullets and stuff flying like at his feet. And oh, and that's in special effects. That, yeah, yeah and and that's the one that was not given to me. I'm that sorry. Little, that little hiccup in there, it's, it's a shot where... Um, there's our wanted posters that all fall to the ground. Yeah. It transitions out of that effects. night scene into our wanted posters all falling and then me getting back to the train and getting the money and Yeah. Oh you got the money too. It was yeah. stuffed oh, on the yeah. guitar, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's yeah, a, got the money. Oh yeah, it's That's a good it's a really cool video. I'm so pissed right now. Uh technology. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. You know. It is I it learned is. a long time ago you always gotta proof what you do before you send it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I've experienced that quite a few times myself over the years. But the one coming out at 12 is the correct one. Um, and it has all the bullet holes in it. It has all the, the bullets and the s special effects and everything else. And that's the one that's going out to the world. Well, so. I still think it looked awesome. I think it sounded great. It's a great song. Yeah. Everything was wonderful, except for that. And I still thought it was cool because your name popped up. Promotion. Yeah, that's not important. <laughs> it's not. It's not. I'm trying to make good of this whole situation. Uh, I know, it's here. okay. Uh, it's it to let everybody video. know. Make sure that you watch. We're like, no. <laughs> now it's gonna go. It's gonna go live today at twelve o'clock. Twelve. On, yeah. on YouTube. On YouTube? Roy Saunders' YouTube page. On his, it'll be shared to his Facebook account. It'll also be shared to Promotion LLC's Facebook. It'll go on his website, uh, RoySaundersMusic.com, and then you, um, it'll also be on the Promotions website. It'll be showcased. On the promotions website. And I can tell you where else it's going to be. It's going to be on my Facebook and page. And on his Facebook awesome. page and a bunch of other people's Facebook That's right. Pages, so, yeah. So you guys are going to be able to see this video later. Also, make sure. Full grandeur. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you. My bad. No, I just. I, you, you're always going to cut me off because I keep oh. my mouth shut. <laughs> um, also, make sure you do come out and see Roy. Uh, he is playing um, Friday at Gallenberg Brewing Company in Gallenberg. And then on Saturday, he's playing at Poor Tap Room. Uh, in Knoxville, no, and of course. You're in Knoxville Saturday. Yeah. Yep. Come on out. It's my birthday weekend. It is his birthday weekend. Sure. Knoxville. Where and is of that? Of course, uh, poor tap room. Poor tap room. Yeah. I got and it. And of course, you can catch the lovely D Rock's acoustics as well. She'll be playing tomorrow night at uh, the Gym Bar and Grill, 1341 Dolly Parton Parkway. You did it. Boom. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> hey, he <laughs> pulled it out of his hat. <laughs> Nine to one. Nine to one. So make sure you guys go check her out as well. Also at the gym bar on Saturday is the uh, Southern, Sun Southern Sunday Drought with uh, Clint Keaton, the really talented artist as well. Check them out. So. And then you had some other buddy that's going to be at. Yeah, I got Rastafari at Gallenberg Brewing Company on Saturday, uh, 7 to 10. Justin Michaels at uh, Union Place. Uh, on October 24th, um, Drop Dead Dangerous at Schultz Brow, uh, October 23rd, 8 to 11. Two Doors Down, Rick Stone, Music and the Band of Brothers, October 23rd, 9.30 to 1.30. And then I've already t said Poor Tap Room with Mr. Roy Saunders himself. Man, it's cool. I'm glad you're in Knoxville. It, I, I would love to come see D-Rox, uh, but you're so far away in, up here because I'm in West Knoxville. But uh, I do want to check her out sometime. Yeah, I'm gonna check. You're gonna be. A, you're gonna get a new fan today on Facebook. Yay. Yeah, most definitely. New Facebook fan yeah. today. I don't know if that means anything coming from me, but you're still gonna get me as a fan. <laughs> well, Roy, we really appreciate you coming on the show. 
Looking forward to seeing you this weekend, and uh, oh, this man. video is coming out at 12, and it is the correct version, so make sure everyone tune in and watch it. Awesome. Thanks and, for having uh, me, guys. Yeah, pretty yeah. super cool, man. It's always a pleasure to see you, Roy. Always. Yeah. And I'm going to try really hard to get out there Saturday. Come on up. Because I am in town Saturday night. Most definitely. Super cool. When's your birthday weekend? When's birthday, birthday weekend. When's your birthday, exactly? It's the 27th. 27th. Okay. Coming up. 27th. Coming up, man. What are right we around the do? corner, man. You stay at the house? Well, I'm, I got a songwriting session on the 25th and 26th with Justin Michaels. You're going to go to the cabin Bristol. on Friday? And then, yeah, go to the cabin on Friday. And then go to the cabin Friday. I'm going to come back on my birthday, and I'll be in Gatlinburg. We're going to hang out in Gatlinburg that day. Okay. That's super so cool. If you want to stay at the cabin again, could. Stay at the cabin. Do that. Cabin. Got call a place. Stay at the cabin. Call my dad. That's super. I need your dad's number. I need to call yeah, him. I need your dad's I, number, too. Yeah. Here we go. 865. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get, dad, you're going to get a bunch of phone calls here in just a few minutes. Yeah, most definitely. That is Anyways, hilarious. Good times, man. Good times. Looking forward to it. So, man. Well, what a great show. Another fantastic show. Again, I want to give a shout out. Mark Nelson. Check me out. Look at this shirt. I, if you want the coolest clothes in the area. Check out Mark Nelson Denim. It's a place to go if you want to look fly. 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 It's been another great show. Bringing entertainment to the Smokies right here on Mountain Fun Life. You know, I tell you what, our showtime goes by so fast, it's hard to believe it goes by as fast as it does. Having great artists on like we do each and every Wednesday morning at 10 o'clock right here at Morning in the Mountains. Guys, be blessed. And remember, be a blessing to others. Get out there and hug somebody. Well, air hug him anyway. <laughs> Lather him down with hand sanitizer. Walk around with a spray bottle of hand sanitizer to spray people and go up and hug them. Yeah. <laughs> spray him with funny. Lysol and give him a big hug. <laughs> right, right in the big cloud of Lysol. Hug him. Anyway, yeah. that's funny. Right. It'd be wild to see that one. We should do a video of that. That'd be hilarious. Anyway, if you are an artist and you've got, you want, you want to get your talent out there, you need to get in touch with James Gilly here, because he is, you are, dude, you are booking musicians like crazy all over Constantly. the area. And it's not just here in Knoxville or in Gatlinburg or in Pigeon Forge. I mean, you're all over the place, aren't you? I try to, yeah. But prior to COVID, it was a little more, but since COVID's hit, it's been kind of hard to book outside. It's going gonna, it's gonna to change, At least man. in my it's shoes, change. it has been. So. It's going to change. I need help on the booking front, Jim. Jim. Yeah, book so away. maybe I need to hire you. To make those phone calls. I told you that two years ago. I He's a good right phone now. caller. <laughs> I know. So. Hello, this is Jim. All right. I got somebody for you. Jim and Jim. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, well, thank you all, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, as Jim says, be blessed and remember to be a blessing to others. We'll see you next week. Yeah, see you next week. Take care.